All right, good morning and good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our webinar. I hope all of you are staying healthy uh, during this new year and, and everyone's been uh, treated all right so far. Um, again, thanks for, thank you for joining us for, for this webinar. Um, Doug, are, are you ready uh, to, to kick things off? I am. Okay, perfect. I, I didn't see your smiling face there, so I didn't know if I should continue. So uh, everybody, I'm, I'm pleased to say that we have uh, Doug Marshall with Residio with us today um, presenting. Um, before I uh, introduce Doug, I'd like to go over just a few um, housekeeping items. Um, very, very similar to probably most of the formats you've seen these webinars uh, happen. Um, in, in a few moments, I will be turning the time over to Doug for his presentation. Um, we will be holding a, a, a Q&A at the end of Doug's presentation. If you have questions throughout the presentation, please go ahead and add that to the chat box or to the Q&A box. Um, if, it's, if it needs to be answered right away, I'll, I'll interrupt Doug and, and we'll get those questions answered. Um, if not, we'll, we'll have a good Q&A session at the end of his presentation. Um, you can find the chat box and the Q&A box on the bottom uh, banner of your screen. Uh, you'll see a Q&A box and a chat box. Feel free to put your questions there. <clears throat> um, again, we're, we're glad to have Doug with us. Um, Doug Marshall, he is the AlarmNet sales leader for Residio. Um, and he supports key customer accounts. He is responsible for supporting the 3G Sunset and has been in the security industry for 20 years, most of those with Honeywell and for the past three years as part of the spinoff with Residio. Uh, prior to joining Honeywell, Doug was president of the B2B technology company. And before his leadership at this company, he served as the technology director for a venture capital business. Uh, Doug holds a technology patent and education in electrical and wireless engineering. Uh, Doug, again, thanks for being with us this morning or this afternoon. Um, and I'll, I'll turn the time over to you to present and uh, show us what you'd like to show us today. Sure, thanks. And, and on behalf of Residio, I again, thank the Avangard team for holding this important uh, webinar. You know, over this time with, uh, with, with in the security industry, I've been through all the previous cellular sunsets. And once again, we're burdened with the industry's third cellular sunset, which uh, we do understand takes, uh, these sunsets take a significant impact on uh, you know, your time, your labor, your capital, and, and, and critically uh, attrition, account attrition as well. The, the agenda today, let me move over. I'm gonna stop the video there so we can share the full screen. Uh, you know, I, I will cover really over the next 35, 40 minutes, a number of topics uh, specific to specific to uh, the 3G uh, sunset, as well as uh, new products and what Residio is doing to help. And then we'll spend at least uh, 15, 20 minutes at the end to, to answer any questions that you may have. You know, Residio operates under a few different names and, and there's Honeywell Home, there's AlarmNet, Toll Connect, and Residio. So first I just want to level up everyone's knowledge of what makes up Residio's business and how Residio is positioned in the security space through the spinoff of Honeywell, which was uh, approximately two, uh, three years ago at this point. Residio is a, a $5 billion business that is uh, publicly traded under REZI and is made up of products and services that include security systems, thermostats, and AlarmNet. Residio also uses, uh, for some products, the Honeywell Home Badge under a 40-year license agreement with Honeywell. And Alarmnet is a business unit within Residio and is responsible for, for providing the alarm transfer of signals from your customer security systems to the Avantgarde Central Station. And Alarmnet also provides the Total Connect 2.0 app, which is the end user app that, that would be downloaded to control and they would interact with their security system as well as AlarmNet provides the things like dealer tools and data insights on your accounts. And those are done through AlarmNet360.com. And we'll actually show some screenshots of that today. But we do have five primary sites in the US supporting these products and services. Uh, those being primarily in Texas, Arizona, 
uh, New York, Kentucky, and, and Minnesota. We wanted to first just share our vision and what we're working on for the smart home and, and what we're doing to connect you, the pro, with your central station in a, in a home, you know, in the, with the homeowner in a way that can expand your business in the future and maybe give some better experiences to your customers. Many of these apply to businesses as well. Now, homeowners today typically have four critical networks in their homes, those being shown on the slide, which is their HVAC or air conditioning system. Next, they have security, they have water, and then they have their energy networks. Today, in most uh, every home, all these systems are independent, but they all really have a story to tell. And, and when you look at these four critical networks of the home, you may realize that while they're each, they have something to talking that they're saying, but, but no one is, is listening. They, they each have, produce a ton of data that can tell uh, us exactly how things are going and, and whether or not there's a, a problem uh, about to happen. So, so what do I mean by this? Re Residio has roughly about 8 million connected devices in homes. So we know a lot about the data that a home generates. You know, with the right sensors um, analysis, your security system can really learn and become smarter and integrate with these other three systems in the home. I really just share this at a high level because this is this is the good that uh, at, at Residio, that this is our mission that where we're trying to connect the critical home networks and, and listen to the heartbeat of these. We, we wanna help you, the pro and your central station be in the future at the center of listening to not just security, but all these critical systems um, to make sense of what these systems are saying to really just make the home more efficient, alert the homeowner before like a critical system breaks down such as an air conditioning system. With that, uh, I'm going to start uh, off with really the, the meat of our agenda, which is to ensure that your existing customer's critical security system is still connected during the upcoming sunsets and, and also future sunsets. <clears throat> so on average, we are seeing cellular sunsets every five to seven years. We went through the 2G sunset in 2017. We're currently in the midst of the 3G sunset. And uh, who knows when the LTE sunset will take place, but it will look likely be the end of this decade. What we do know is sunsets will continue and it does take a significant impact on your business. Now, next month, uh, just you know, a little over 25 business days away, the AT&T 3G network is expected to fully sunset. And we, we suggest and recommend that these continue to be your number one priority for, for swaps. And these do represent a significant number of customers still today. Uh, and on December of this year, the Verizon CMA 3G network is expected to sunset. And these also represent a significant number of customers. Now the industry has, has made a lot of progress. We had roughly around 6 million uh, 3G accounts in the, in the business uh, across all manufacturers, central stations and dealers about a year ago. That's roughly down to about uh, just under 2 million today. So there's still a lot more to go. Um, but I think where I want to spend time on this slide is uh, what you may have heard about, and that's the potential for an AT&T 3G sunset extension. And, and the first thing is, uh, I just want to get it up, up front. For, will the AT&T AT sunset be extended past a February date uh, next month? And it's really a 50-50 chance if any extension will be granted at this point. You know, the specific details behind it is, Congress and the FCC have received a petition from the AICC, which is the Alarm Industry Communications Committee, and that Residio is part of. This petition is basically asking for AT&T to delay the sunset to match the Verizon sunset to later this year. Residio has shared comments that we believe the sunset extension is needed to help the, the, the address the ongoing chip shortage with cellular radio production. And we have the, when we've seen these shortages, you've obviously probably experienced them too. They've hit all manufacturing, all manufacturers at varying degrees and, and, and at times. Now, hearings on this did, did begin in December with Congress. And, you know, we have gotten the attention of the FCC as well. Uh, and also some recent press articles you may have seen in the news recently that homeowners will lose critical monitoring services if AT&T does not act to extend the, the sunset past February. With that said, no decision has been made and it's very dangerous for any business to depend on this happening at this juncture. Now, AT&T's position is generally, uh, you know, they're on their reason for not willing to extend is, is fundamentally centered around, they need to free up the 800, 
850 megahertz spectrum. This frequency is used by the 3G network and is being redeployed for 5G. This band is, is critical to their network as this is um, an extremely valuable frequency that provides 5G coverage that has really good range and decent speeds. It's, it's not, 850 megahertz is, is not the crazy fast speed you may hear about or read about. Those are at the new frequency bands and those are referred to as millimeter wave and those are at a much higher frequencies. Th those higher frequency bands um, have the advantage of faster speed, but travel very short distances. Whereas the 850 megahertz band has the longest range, which is most important for what we do in the security space because it's the best range for in-home coverage. You know, AT&T's position is also claiming that they provide a sufficient notice um, on the sunset in light of co even in light of COVID and, and product shortages issues that we're experiencing. Now, if AT&T does or does not extend the sunset, your urgency to finish those swaps should still remain a priority. The best case scenario if AT&T does agree to extend is, is they're being asked to match Verizon's sunset in December, but it's more likely to turn into a negotiation if they do agree to extend and maybe just give us a few extra months. Um, foundationally, we just don't know if any extension will happen and, and urgency to swap remains high. The reason um, is due to this. The 3G AT&T sunset will be very different from previous cellular sunsets. Many of y'all may have likely been through the 2G and even maybe the 1G sunset. The difference with this sunset from previous sunsets is this is expected to be a, just a network delete event. In the previous sunsets, the network came down slowly. This sunset will be very different. The network just, will just go dark. And at this point, it's uh, planned to go dark uh, February 22nd um, of 2022 in 25 business days. Next, we'll walk through um, tools to help you locate um, and map out your 3G swaps. Th that would be uh, AlarmNet 360. And this is a screenshot of AlarmNet 360. And this is an owner level view of data insights and AlarmNet accounts. If you're not using AlarmNet 360 tools today, or need to get access, you can set up your login just by going to alarmnet360.com and select the option at the bottom right to sign up. It's free to sign up. Uh, the data here includes things like a quick view of how many 3G accounts you have, what cellular network uh, your customers are using and the related services, such as do they have interactive services, video and or maybe automation. The data can be exported into a spreadsheet for your team to sort by selecting the export function highlighted in the yellow oval in the top right side of the right top right of this slide. This data dashboard is updated daily every two hours. Another useful tool here is also at the top center, which gives the ability to filter your accounts by age. And, um, and also there's a filter here. Uh, you, can sh uh, you can filter uh, by comp fail shown the yellow oval in the top, top left. Next day on this dashboard, if, if you were to scroll down, uh, you would see something like this. And, and, and this will help provide data insights to help prioritize your accounts on those that are most likely or least likely to trip during a sunset, as well as any specific type of cell units installed to know what equipment is needed for an LTE upgrade. Some interesting data that is shown here on this view would be showing which customers are not using their app or not arming their system. This also can be filtered by, you know, say 30 days or longer. And this is done in the area highlighted with the yellow oval in the top center. Other things that shows is customers who, who have never confirmed their email or set up maybe notifications, or maybe they have camera automation services turned on, but those customers never added a camera, never added automation devices when they were set up. This will also show, show those, those problems. So they'll help you resolve them when upgrading their, their system to LTE, or maybe deleting those services and not using those. And again, those are shown in the yellow oval uh, in the top left on this case. Next, uh, we'll talk through strategies to deploy um, to address how to deploy uh, your 3G account changeouts. We, we recommend prioritizing 3G changeouts first based on the cellular type and then next based on the type of services your customer has. So first we wanna start with AT&T because we know those accounts are the first to sunset in February and next uh, um, prioritize Verizon because again, those are in December. Secondly, if the account is connected cellular only, or if they have dual path, dual path, meaning cell and internet connectivity, we would recommend leaving the dual path at customers um, last as those um, will likely have backup using the internet if the cellular sunsets. Uh, next, uh, we recommend you prioritize your accounts by, um, by cellular and communication type. We suggest 
you know, categorizing each set of customers into the type of services. So for example, those customers that have interactive services should likely be first because that's typically a higher RMR customer for you. And you will have more data on them when doing the change outs. Next, uh, follow, we suggest you follow those with customers that do not have interactive services or smart home devices um, that are in high demand, such as cameras and doorbells, and, and target those customers a little bit differently with maybe upgrade packages to, to add those types of those high demand services and products. And last, tackle those customers that are in, that are in Comfail, especially those that have been in Comfail for, for some time. Look, there's variant options on, on best ways to prioritize 3G changeouts. G generally, we suggest starting with protecting your higher RMR customers first and those who are higher users of the products and then shift your 3G changeout campaign and attention to those accounts that, that are, you know, have a higher attrition risk already and leave those for last. So this leads me to the next slide. Um, when, when planning out a 3G campaign, there's really just commonly two paths to take. You know, you're just trying to save the account and this may, be, may require providing free equipment um, or at cost or secondary live up the customer's equipment. Um, add interactive services, maybe they don't already have such, such as the app, you know, add the additional, you know, devices that are in high demands. Um, but, you know, generally all these, both these paths, you know, um, a good percentage of dealers are doing well, uh, getting uh, renewal contracts and the various things uh, that you would get when you're resigning a customer up or extending their, their contract terms. And the third thing to consider is, does it require a truck roll? Can your customer replace the radio themselves? And you know, we commissioned a study uh, a number of years ago, um, three years ago to be specific, with a smart, with, with, you know, with what smart home security products customers are looking to purchase as well. And if they plan this on themselves or have a professional install it. You know, the, the results of this study were helpful. And we found, and what we found is really showing this graphic on the left. The top two asks were, uh, no surprise, outdoor cameras and video doorbells. Certainly uh, nothing surprising with that one. Um, and smoke CO protection was a, a second close. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a surprise or um, just more insight, but we thought that was an interesting um, uh, in, insight that they can, that people were considering um, smoke and CO as part of the smart home devices. Because, you know, I think generally a number of systems that have been stolen in recent years, that this has been overlooked in some cases. And, and smoke and CO at the end of the day can give you really a, a higher level of less attrition because um, you know, monitor smoke and CO obviously is protecting uh, lives. And that's an important thing to be, to be adding to systems, whether it's existing or new. And really the, the suggestion here from this study as you're doing your 3G upgrades, consider in your upgrade campaign to offer that, those products to level up your customer system or product they, they likely have a high appetite for. And the next thing that's interesting with this research is we received um, uh, feedback on DIY versus pro install. And, and the study here did show majority of customers do want a pro to install uh, the products for them, but it does vary by age group. Uh, certainly if they're a millennial, you know, someone generally under 40 years old, 56% uh, of the age group wants a pro. And if you're a baby boomer, you know, you know, 65 plus percent wants a pro. Uh, really no surprise there, just another data set just to confirm kind of some th things that we've seen. Now, really the takeaway from this leads to the, ne the next two slides. And, you know, as part of the, the big, one of the major burdens with the cell sunsets, it's certainly your labor, uh, especially in, in, you know, in the recent year uh, and, and then the related cost to rolling a truck. Now, if 40% of the population is okay with a, with a DIY type, uh, or we call it pro DIY type install, um, and you're comfortable on your customers to swap through themselves, a suggestion would be to leverage this in your 3G campaign. And we do have three products that can support DIY cell swaps, as well as end user videos and materials to support this, these end user swaps. The, the first product that supports uh, so, uh, the cellular DIY swap is Lyric. Uh, this, this platform was, was developed many years ago. This is our self-contained platform. The cell radio is a simple plug-in. And you can just simply mail it to the homeowner. They literally slide the old one out, slide the new one in. Um, and that's the process for the homeowner. The second one, which may be surprising to some, is, is Vista. However, you know, we've battle tested uh, this DIY swap with homeowners and, and dealers uh, for, for over a year now. 
And, and we have a number of materials to support this as well, where you can offer uh, Vista DIY upgrades in your 3G campaigns for those customers. The, the Vista DIY shop does require a little bit more work, um, but it's not a, but there's no wiring by the homeowner. They can simply unplug a connector from the old radio and plug in a new one. They do have to take the old radio off. Typically it's mounted on top of the can or next to it. And again, we created the end user video. It's about five minutes. It walks a homeowner how to do these types of swaps, including this Vista swap. And, and the links of those um, videos can all be found here at residio.com slash LTE upgrade. And if you scroll down there, you'll see those videos. And then we also made videos as well around battery uh, swaps because the number one service call for most security companies is, is batteries, low batteries. And um, so we just made those videos and they're separate videos so they could be unrelated to the 3GD uh, campaign. But um, those videos do exist for all of our popular products to, to walk a homeowner how to swap out, the, you know, change out their battery, the system battery. Um, and, then, and then we also have our local reps and various territories that cover your area. Uh, I'll show that, that org chart at the very end. So if you don't know who your local rep is, you can reach out to them to, to help you with these materials. The, the next slide here really speaks to the graphic, speaks to the graphic I showed on the smart home devices uh, just recently and, and, your, and what your customers are most likely to buy during a 3G changeout. You know, again, outdoor cameras, smoke CO, doorbells being the, you know, the top two, three slots. The, the good news here is no matter what Honeywell system your customer had installed or Residio system, these older systems support adding these devices without having to change out the panel. If you look at the graphic in the center with the blue house, this is showing the most common systems that is likely installed. And this includes Vista, Lynx, and, and Lyric. Any one of these systems will install adding Wi-Fi cameras, doorbells, and Wi-Fi thermostats. And the integration is just done through the Residio cloud. It's just done through Wi-Fi. And the, those devices will show up on your customer's Total Connect app uh, without having to upgrade the actual hardware. So when you're doing a 3G campaign, if you do uh, want to include uh, those types of devices, you can simply just add the device and not have to swap out the entire system. Next, I'm going to cover um, the Residio Token app and, and how this can help during your 3G campaign to, to help educate your customers on interactive services if they don't already have them. An interesting feature of the Token app is the built-in test drive demo function. Uh, that's shown in the yellow circle at the bottom left there. There's no password is needed. There's no login. Um, this is something that your customer can demo. They can see before. Um, so for example, a couple of ways this could be used today. If it's done during over the phone or during a sales process related to, or not related to the 3G campaign, and the customer can download the app, hit the, the test drive function, and it's a full functioning you know, demo. It's not just screenshots. They can move sliders and, and do different things. And, and see what the app experience would be like. Another way this can help is reducing your install times and, and service calls if the customers, if you're adding the, the, total, the, the interactive app. Um, typically the, the, the process would be this, your installer shows up at the home, has a, has a homeowner download the app first on their phone, uh, let advise the homeowner that, you know, we're gonna go ahead and install your equipment. In the, in, in the meantime, we're installing your equipment. You can hit the test drive feed function, um, get familiar with how the, how the app works. And then we're done installing your equipment we're gonna go ahead and come back and then link the security system to your app. That just will help reduce some of the, the, the training time and, and give your customers some time up front uh, while the install is taking place to maybe get familiar with, with the app. Um, <clears throat> next, I'm gonna walk through 3G rebates. Look, we understand changing out millions of 3G uh, units in our industry is very expensive. So whether you have 10 or you have 10,000, uh, we know that uh, any type of financial relief is, is welcomed. And we do this today. And, and we've done this since the, 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 the start of the sunset and do it and continue it even today. And that's in the form of a rebate, which we do offer. And these rebates are, are not done on the back end as far as like a service credit like that. These are, these are literally once you install the upgrade, these rebates are, are, are sent into your, um, your ADI account um, and, and put onto your account there to use. Now, Residio has a 3G upgrade rebate program that's available to, to all dealers, no matter which product you might be using. This rebate is up to $55 and it's broken down to three rebates you can qualify for for doing an upgrade. The first one is a $20 rebate just for doing the swap, just swapping the 3G, the old 3G radio to LTE. 
the, the second one is, is you'll receive an additional $20 if, if the customer didn't have Total Connect app and you add it. Uh, and then the third one is if, you, if they didn't have video and you added video. So that's where the $55 totality rebate comes from. So many of these rebates can be done one of two ways. First, it's an automated process. This can be done through Alarm at 360, which is on the right side and, and highlighted in the yellow circle is um, the 3G dashboard for rebate tracking. Uh, when doing a 3G swap, just use this dashboard and, wall, and you select the account and, you, and there's just a couple steps you have to go through to apply for the rebate and it's done automatically. The second method is if you have a lot of accounts and you want to do a bulk upload of the swaps, this also, this upload is done through submitting a spreadsheet and there's just three fields that we need to be filled out. You know, the, the new Mac, the old Mac, the new Mac uh, and the account number. An example of that spreadsheet is also on this 3G um, dashboard as well. Now moving to the next slide, if you're doing commercial fire, uh, we do have a rebate there as well. It's just a straight $50. Um, the, again, the website that covers all those re rebates is that residuo.com slash LT upgrade. Uh, that's the same website I showed earlier. And then again, that website's shown here in the bottom right. Now here on the next slide, this shows the two workflows for rebates um, you know, and the steps for them. On the left side is a workflow for when upgrading a Residio AlarmNet uh, 3G radio to AlarmNet LTE upgrade. On the right side, you see there's four, slept, four steps there. On the right side is the workflow when upgrading a non-Residio uh, AlarmNet uh, 3G radio to LTE. Um, on the, on the non-Residio one, there's just one extra step. We have to add you know, the old radio manufacturer and, and SIM number for that. Both the rebate workflows need to be submitted by the end of the following month that you do the swap. So for example, if you did a swap today, you would need to submit that rebate by the end of February. Um, let's move on to uh, another challenging issue as virtually everyone is aware. I, I mentioned this earlier about the chip shortages that's impacting all manufacturers at different levels. And, and look, th this chip shortage has caused an insane level of supply chain issues that um, you know, all manufacturers just, you know, have had to deal with something. They've never had to deal with something in the past. And especially as it relates to 3G radios for security and, and the fire industry. So I'm going to, you know, walk through how things are going with Residio and, and what we're doing and, and what radios are in stock and um, so, some thoughts around that. So I think the first thing to, to point out is the vast majority of the radios that need to be swapped uh, for, for AlarmNet is Vista. We do have a uh, good supply on Vista radios today in stock. We have uh, four variations. We have two, eight, we have two, we have ATT Verizon and there's two variations of that, that radio. Uh, one is just a kind of a, a low cost, easy um, add on to any Vista panel. Um, the second one is a little bit more money, but it has some additional capabilities and it can be used on any manufacturer's uh, hardwire panel. The, 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 the more expensive um, Vista radio also has a, a modular um, uh, radio in it so that when we go through the next cell sunset with LTE, you don't have to replace the whole radio. You literally just mail the homeowner uh, a slide in um, uh, radio um, card and they, they put that into that radio. Uh, we call that radio the Black Bolt radio. Um, it's, it's the part number is LTMP uh, where the other one's just called LT, LTM. Um, but in any case, we have the stock on Vista and we're, we're good inventory there. Where we're really challenged on radio supply right now, and we have plenty of uh, Lyric radios as well. We're good supply there. Um, and when I say plenty of supply, that's today. Um, doesn't mean we will have plenty, you know, two, three weeks from now, just because of the amount of demand that we're seeing. And, and a lot of dealers have, uh, are, uh, you know, are, are behind on their swaps. So we're, we're constantly seeing the demand increase, but we have good supply today. What we don't have good supply on is on the Lynx Touch radio. So we have uh, many, many, many tens of thousands of those on back order today. Uh, we're not able to get enough chips to produce enough of the Lynx Touch radios to, to, to accomplish all the swaps that need to happen on the Lynx Touch. We do have a solution there, a good solution. It's called Cell Balance. We'll talk a little bit more on that in a minute. Um, and then on combo radios and fire radios. So combo radios would be like a, a internet slash cell combo radio that's used on Vista. And then uh, typically using commercial and, and homes as well, but and then also uh, fire radios. Um, the supply on that is challenged, but it's not zero. So we do have inventory moving on those. Um, so um, if you already have your back orders uh, your orders in, um, then you should see those radios. Uh, we do have production happening every week on both AT and T and Verizon variants of that. 
sometimes we have more AT&T radios one week and, so, and then next week we might produce Verizon and, and that kind of process goes back and forth. But again, um, you can work with your, your local rep to kind of get you know, specific visibility to on your needs and, uh, and what you're needing. So this is the, the most popular radio. This is kind of that low cost um, uh, LTM radio for Vista. Uh, again, plenty of inventory on this, uh, no issues. Uh, right now we're seeing with that one. And then the, the P version, um, which is, the, you know, the, which is the, the version that can be used on any hardware system that has some additional capabilities. Um, but those, those radios are in, are in strong, strong supply today. Uh, cell bounce. Uh, this is a very um, uh, cool product. It's, it's, cell bounce is a end user, end user installable product. It's about the size. Uh, so the cell bounce product is shown in the, in the center uh, there, the little white box there in the center below the security panel. It's about the size of an iPhone. If you took about, uh, you know, took about five iPhones and stuck them on top of each other, it's about that thick. Um, it has a 24 hour battery. Majority of the product is the battery inside of it. And what this product does is it's pretty cool that you can, you can just plug it in uh, within about 20, 25 feet of the existing security panel or radio. It does, uh, does work with alarm net. 18T 3G radios specifically, and it will retransmit. It will take it, it, it basically acts as a cell uh, booster, a little mini cell tower in the home. What it does is it, it only communicates to the security panel, to the AlarmNet AT&T 3G communicator radio. It takes that AlarmNet AT&T 3G radio signal in and retransmits it out as uh, AT&T LTE. And it, and it does, and, and all the same capabilities that the panel had before, it would still exist so they can still have, you know, their interactive app and things like that. Um, you know, the, 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 the process to set this up is there's really two steps. The first one is you go to Alarmnet 360 and you associate the cell bounce to the account you want to upgrade. Then you ship the unit, the cell bounce unit to the homeowner. Uh, again, uh, we have videos on this, by the way. So if you go to residio.com slash cell bounce, the videos are there uh, and that the homeowner can watch the video if they need to, to, and basically the homeowner just plugs us in near the alarm panel and it, it can take up to about 24 hours um, and then it will connect to the, the alarm at 3G AT&T radio and then it will start retransmitting LTE and that's called the pairing process. So first is association, you basically associate it to the account. The second process is, is the homeowner putting in. We do have security companies are still using some text to put these in. You really don't need to. Um, you can put it, the homeowner can put them themselves. We've seen a pretty good success rate with the homeowners just plugging them in and, and them working. Um, it is FCC UL listed. It is for, it could be used for both residential and commercial burg, cannot be used for commercial fire. Um, the only limitation really with it is uh, it does not work with two-way voice. So if there's two-way voice on that account and they, they wanna keep the two-way voice, it will not work with two-way voice, but everything else works. Um, we've been selling it for $189.99. Um, we are about to, uh, reduce the price to 169. We've been offering the 169 price to uh, customers for, that have decent volume, um, but we're going to go ahead and open that up. Um, the one thing I do need to point out, though, is there is a limited supply of these units. Uh, we did launch this product uh, 30 days ago. Uh, we've sold through uh, a good vast majority of what we have. We have about, as of today, about 12,000 12, units left. We won't be getting any more. Um, so I do expect those will be sold out in the coming weeks. I would emphasize if, if you have any links touch specifically links touch to upgrade, I would get orders in this week for this um, because the, the ability to get links touch radios to you is going to be very, very minimal um, and unlikely. Um, is there a question? I think we have a question. Uh, so I see a um, question from John works on the secure net. No, this does not work with SecureNet. This works with AlarmNet. Uh, and this will work with any AlarmNet AT&T 3G account. So it could be an AlarmNet AT&T 3G Vista panel, uh, Lynx panel, Lyric panel, any, any AlarmNet AT&T account it will work with, and it will remain an AT&T. Yes, it, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, it only does work with AlarmNet, yes. Yeah, I, I wish it would work with um, other uh, products, um, but it does only work with AlarmNet. Good question. All right, moving on from that one. 
So, so look, um, <laughs> um, so sunsets, look, sunsets are here to stay and, and something we're going to have to deal with again and again. Um, and we do have a plan and, and Residio has had a plan on how to deal with uh, sunsets um, and future sunsets and make them much easier. Uh, look, the, the reality of this is when you look at most homeowners um, equ security equipment, it stays in the home for a long time. There's homeowners that this is going to be their third um, sunset. They still have the you know, same maybe old Vista panel with maybe even some button keypads. And that's what they, they're fine with that. They just want protection. Um, so typically we're not seeing homeowners upgrade their security systems the way they do upgrade other consumer electronics in the home. So we have to make these systems um, built differently than, than, you know, where they can last, you know, not just, you know, seven years, but, you know, decades. And, and again, we recognize the disruption, these sunsets take place. So we started, you know, this process with our Lyric security platform. And, and that was, that was produced and released um, six years ago, I believe, but we've continued that, that module design with a, with a more modern design with, with our pro series uh, platform. And, and the Plo series platform is going to replace in totality all of our existing legacy platforms over time. We Pro series is is currently um, replacing um, in the process of replacing our legacy links and lyric platforms as far as our new platform will be selling. Uh, Pro series has been out for a couple of years, and we spent a lot of time and energy around what would make for really a more effective security platform. The problem with the security hardware again is you know. The, the security hardware really just hasn't been keeping pace with the speed at which technology is changing. You know, sell your sunsets take place every seven years. Um, we've been, the industry was using, still uses Z-Wave to communicate with other smart home devices. Uh, Wi-Fi is taking a precedence. Now there's matter. So a security system really just has to be built for, for the future and just last past these sunsets and be able to give you the ability to just mail the homeowner in particular when it deal with the sunset a radio and um, the security system is, is, is upgraded. So I have a couple slides on, on Pro Series in particular. And, you know, look, we, we definitely appreciate your investment in time today. And it, it's definitely inspiring to see how we all have uh, worked through the last two years through every, all these different types of problems. And look, we don't like wake up. No one likes waking up and dealing with problems every day. So we, we, we're trying to provide some maybe some sunlight and some solutions in the future. And this, we believe, does that. You know, when this product was developed, um, you know, we wanted to make sure it was having a meaningful impact on your business. And, and we developed really the innovation here centered around four fundamental themes. The first is our products, um, you know, provide life safety and protection for millions of homes and businesses, and they have to be affordable and reliable, and they have to work 100%. They have to work that one time when the customer needs it, needs it the most. And, and due to the challenges in our industry, our products have to help reduce your creation and service costs. You should only have to roll a service truck when absolutely needed. And reducing truck rolls is also core of this new platform. Um, and our products have to provide innovation to reduce your attrition. There's lots of competitors in, in our industry. And you know, there's some companies that you know their business model is to take over your customers. So we, we've done some things to help solve with that with our, our RF lock. And, and then last, the products just have to be modern, right? They have to be ready for the future. And, you know, the, the main focus here is we, we have to do this across all of our platforms, not just one platform. And that's what we're doing with Pro Series. You know, the, this new platform really allows the, the, the homeowner some, some nice things. So one of the first things is the wireless sensors that are already installed in the home you know, you can, you can take those over, but you can also add new sensors and the new sensors you add can, can use our, what's called our RF lock, which is patent. And, and, and really what that is, is when you add our newer sensors, which is the two-way wireless encrypted sensors, you have the option to enable RF lock, which locks down those sensors to your alarm account. And those sensors cannot be reused by another dealer just by swapping out the panel or maybe add in some type of wireless translators example. Now you can certainly unlock them and provide, uh, you know, to allow maybe a contractor or some service or your own technicians um, and allow them to be reused uh, if you're unlocked. And that's an optional feature you can turn, turn on or off. And it has the things you would expect, right? It has Alexa inside. I mean, you can, um, you can connect, uh, you know, your cell phones to it to, use, to do Bluetooth disarming. It does have support for the most popular uh, languages out there. 
you know, it does two-way voice, it, you know, supports uh, video alarm verification. Um, so it has all the normal things that you'd have, and it could be installed in a couple of different ways. You can do the typical installation where you mount it on the wall, but it also has some nice uh, options for, for table mounts and like a plug and power cord. Um, so it, it does serve multiple uh, customer types. Now, the modularity of Pro Series is what's really, really important here. If you think about it, um, you know, we have this system, we include this design, the ability to do things like that wireless takeover module. And that wireless takeover module is just one SKU. And that one SKU will take over all the most popular one-way leg legacy sen sensors out there. So that includes things like the Honeywell 5800, certainly the Qualysys IQ1 sensors, 2 gig, DSC, um, the, the GE slash Interlogic sensors. And, and that is shown the top left. And, and that is a, a, a module that you, you buy, it's optional. When you need to reuse those sensors or take over those sensors, you just slide it in and you can reuse those existing sensors that's in the home. Now, the, the system also has built into it um, our six, which is our two-way encrypted sensors uh, or, or wireless transceiver. So if you wanted to mix and match sensors, you can. You can, you can reuse the existing 1500 sensors a homeowner may have, and then you can add uh, the newer type of sensors if you want. And, and, and mix those, those sensors and the panel support those fine. Just the newer sensors will have some newer capabilities and we'll talk through that. And you know, even the battery, we, we, we looked at a better design knowing this is the number one service cost associated with, with servicing you know, customers. So the battery design here, uh, the battery chemistry we're using is the, the 18650 cells. This is the same uh, cells that Tesla's uses in, in a number of their vehicles. Um, really the, the, the point here with the, the, the cell chemistry is it has a higher number of charge and discharge cycles, so the batteries will last longer. Um, so just little things like that, and it's a, and it's an end user changeable battery as well. Uh, so again, important. You shouldn't have to roll a truck to change batteries unless that's just something that you typically provide to your customers. And last is um, but very important is the Z-Wave Wi-Fi card, uh, and that's shown in the top right, and that's also modular. Now this does already come installed in our Pro A7 Plus. We have two variations of this panel. We have the Pro A7 and the Pro A7 Plus. They're really the only difference between the Pro A7 and the Pro A7 Plus is the Plus has the Z-Wave Wi-Fi card included with it. And the, and the Pro A7 Plus has the, the camera on the front and the Pro A7 Plus has Bluetooth. Um, so really the Pro A7 Plus is what you'd use if you're doing more of a smart home type install. If it's just more of a basic security install, maybe they're just having some cameras, um, the Pro A7 will be fine for that. But the reason that this Wi-Fi Z-Wave card is modular is specifically what we're seeing with um, smart homes. So we have, uh, there's, there's chip, there's a protocol called chip, there's matter. These technologies on how, what the panel can communicate with will continue to change our industry. The, the, the advantage here is, is you don't have to worry about these things. You can pivot and support these new technologies very easily. We just spin out the, a new card uh, that will support whatever that new smart home IOT technologies we need to support. And that is a module that just slides in the, into the panel. Again, if needed, th th these are all designed to be homeowner, uh, certainly uh, pro, DI pro install and pro DIY as well. Um, these can all be done just by sliding them into the side of the, the panel there. And the bottom left there, that, that, that gray plastic um, is, the, is the cell radio. So it's easy when, when, when the LTE sunset takes place, uh, it's easy to upgrade um, to the 5G or 6G, whatever we're, we're at at that time. And this slide, um, got a couple more, just a few more slides here. This slide is really just speaking through our new two-way encrypted sensors. Um, these sensors really do some pretty um, nice things for you as it relates to your service and your accounts remotely. So certainly the panel has the ability to do o OTA over the air updates. And, and those OTA updates, however, with Pro Series does more than just the panel. Not only will upgrade the panel, it will upgrade the cell radio if there's a cell radio upgrade that needs to happen there, but also pushes the update out to the edge devices, in this case, the sensors. So if we need to push an update to add a new feature, new capability, um, solve a bug, um, we can do that uh, with our two-way sensors. And, and these two-way sensors have been out for many, many years. These are well-proven. Um, you know, they're, they're not new, like new, new product, but they've um, been out for some time. And the other th advantage here is you can remotely see the health of the sensor. It's viewable remotely. You can see the single strength uh, of the sensor and the battery life of the sensor. And this all can be viewed with an alarm at 360. 
Um, this really helps reduce service issues later. Um, you know, a common issue is, you know, maybe a product was shipped to you and the, and the battery that was in there was a bad battery. It sat in someone's shelf for, for a long time. Um, well, you'll be able to see that before your technician leaves so they can, up, you know, change out that battery so you're not rolling a truck a few months later because, you know, a sensor that sat on a shelf for a few years and, and uh, had a bad battery or low battery. There's also some pretty unique sensors that go with this as well. We have the, the combo smoke, which is shown in the middle center there, which does uh, both CO, smoke, and heat. So you don't have to choose uh, between am I putting CO or smoke, and you just put in this one device and it does it all. It has voice in it as well, which is pretty cool. And then we also have um, various uh, types of uh, remote sirens you can put on this as well, both indoor and outdoor options. And there's some other neat sensors, um, such as the shock sensor shown in the bottom left, which is both a uh, glass break and a door window contact uh, in one. And the last sensor I wanna share is, is shown here, and this is called our motion viewer. This is completely wireless, completely battery powered. Think of this as a, a more modern motion detector. So in addition to being a motion detector, it also does motion camera uh, clips. So it, it will capture a 10 second video clip on motion and those can be viewed from the app it's not uh, an HD 4K type Wi-Fi type camera image. The video image shown in the bottom right is actually of uh, a, a video clip from one of these. And it's pretty relatively inexpensive. It's about $25 more than a traditional motion detector. So, and it does work over both cellular and Wi-Fi connected systems. So it's an easy way to differentiate and add on to your systems. And here I've listed our local team members in your area. Uh, I'm gonna um, finish up on this slide and we're gonna do any questions that you guys may have. I wanna just thank again, the Avangard team for hosting this important webinar and certainly your time, your support of uh, AlarmNet and Residio. And uh, any questions you, can you may have, just, they can be industry related, they can be specific to the things we covered today. Thank you, Doug, for that, that presentation. Yeah, uh, for the attendees, please add any questions in the chat box or the Q&A box down on that bottom banner of your screen. Up, uh, you click on that box will pop up. Um, add your questions there and we'll make sure that uh, Doug gets to those. I'm glad to see we solved John's panic moment. <laughs> I did bring a smile to my face, John. Thanks for adding that. <laughs> well, we'll give it a, a few more moments here, Doug, but I think you did a good job <laughs> clearing up everyone's uh, potential questions. Um, in these last few moments, just want to uh, let everyone know that this webinar was recorded. Um, and so if you if you have any questions and, and this webinar has ended, do feel free to reach out to your your alarm net rep. Uh, you'll also be getting um, a copy of this webinar emailed to you. Um, Pam, thanks for your for your comment as well. <clears throat> yep, and feel free. Um, I don't see I, don't, I probably put my email out there, but uh, my email is just my uh, Doug Marshall with two L's at residio.com. Welcome to reach out to me uh, as well. Perfect. Well, Doug, thanks for being with us today. And, and to all the attendees, thank you for joining us. Um, again, hope everybody stays healthy this year. And uh, we wish you all the, the best success as you know, with these sunsets coming. We, we wish you success getting everything upgraded and um, you know, reach out to Doug and AlarmNet for, for any of your needs there. Uh, Doug, thank you again. You bet. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Justin, for feedback as well. See y'all.